My wife and I got to watch this eruption happen from just a couple of hundred yards away, and it was mind-blowing. Seeing it really was one of those life-changing experiences when the lava came rushing over the mountain and we felt the heat away from that slam into us. It was incredible. And so I wanted to talk for a minute about how you can experience this amazing volcano, whether it's simply from watching it at home or whether you want to go to Iceland and experience it firsthand for yourself. But there are some things that you can do that are going to make that experience work out a little bit better. So to begin with, first off, I'm going to have part one, which talks about the resources that there are to make it so that you can actually watch this volcano erupting live from wherever you're at in the world. And it doesn't matter whether you're in the United States or in someplace else, you can watch this volcano from wherever you're at if you have a computer. You have YouTube, obviously you're watching this, so you can actually get a chance to see it. So part one of this is going to explain how you can take advantage of the resources that are online and some other things to be able to kind of be part of this amazing experience in this unbelievably beautiful eruption. Then we'll have part two, which talks about what to do if you're actually going to go to Iceland so that you can make sure that you have an amazing experience. Lots of people go to the volcano and say, oh, all I saw was black lava. It wasn't really that impressive. And that's because they simply weren't doing it right. They didn't take advantage of the tools and resources that are available. And so they really weren't able to have an amazing experience like the one that you see on the screen now. So to begin with, let's talk about uh, the volcano. So back in March, this volcano started erupting and it began as a little small crack in the ground. Lava started to spill out. Um, there had been a bunch of earthquakes for several months uh, building up to this, and finally the lava started breaking through. And there have been several different uh, cones or different sort of little mountains that were formed. Um, and the one that's erupting now is kind of the big one, and that's the one that it's all kind of built to. And so that's what uh, you're seeing. So, but as far as some resources that you want to take advantage of, there are a few. First off, uh, there are constant live cams, uh, several different ones, that will give you feeds to watch the volcano. And you can see exactly what's happening at any given time. And I'll post up a couple of the different uh, live feeds that are on here, and I would get familiar with those. But as you'll notice from watching those, those things are not going to always be show you, showing you amazing lava flow. In fact, typically, it'll be about every 25 to 30 hours, it's going to go through an eruptive cycle where it really is pouring out lava. You can see it bubbling up uh, over the top, and it's going to be amazing. And the rest of the time, you're really just going to see kind of maybe a little bit of glow off in the crater and a whole lot of black lava. So how do you know when it's going to do that? Well, fortunately, this volcano has formed in a way that makes it so that it is on a very regular cyclical basis. Like I said, it's about every 25 to 30 hours it's going to start erupting. But as far as the precise timing, that you're going to want to get used to reading some tremor charts because those basically give you predictions of what's going to be happening. Now, there are several different ones. The one that I think is easiest is the one that I'm popping up on the screen now, and uh, you can see the link for that. So here you can see that I have clicked on uh, that link. This is to the tremor chart. And this tremor chart is what's really going to help you to see exactly what's happening with the volcano. But we've got to get down to the one that is at the volcano location, and that is called Fagradalsfjell. And that is going to be under F, starts with F, F-A-G. Um, the symbol for it is F-A-F. And you can kind of recognize it because it has this uh, sort of up and down pattern. It's the easy one that's really the most cyclical. Um, so as you're reading through this, you can see that there are some different wavelengths and those correspond to the different colors. I'm really focusing in on the top line and just focusing on how high those are. When it goes up, that means you're getting more uh, tremor activity, which generally leads to volcanic activity as well bottom, it has the timing, uh, and those are set up into days. So basically, each little tick mark represents six hours. So you can kind of get an idea as far as what's happening uh, over the course of a given day. And you can see that the lava will go down really fast, uh, or those uh, the chart will go down really fast, 
and then it'll just slowly build and then as it starts to come up that's when you're going to start to see some more uh, actual lava flow out of the crater and that's when you're going to want to time uh, being either online to watch it or if you're going to be out in Iceland when you want to go to the volcano and so when you see that climbing that's going to tell you hey there's some cool stuff that's about to happen and when it gets up up above about that 5,000 mark on this chart especially with the top blue line that's when you know that you're going to start to actually see some lava flow and when it's at that 600 mark it's going to be really really or sorry 6,000 mark it's going to be really really impressive and so that's what you're going to want to look for but if you just get used to kind of reading that one uh, you can really get a pretty good feel. Now, obviously, there are some other things you can get into a lot more, uh, you know, intense uh, tremor charts. There's some drum readings that are, you know, basically are a little bit harder, I think, for the average person. But this is really simple. Basically, when that graph starts to go up, the volcano is going to erupt. When it gets above 5,000, you're probably going to see some good lava. Around 6,000, it's going to be really great. Um, and so that's the time when you want to be watching, uh, whether that's at home or whether that is uh, in person. So the first thing is getting used to those. Next, I would really strongly recommend joining the uh, Facebook group if you happen to be on Facebook. Um, and that Facebook group is called Iceland Geology. Uh, seismic and volcanic activity. Um, this was started by a really uh, kind of an amazing uh, family. Uh, the person who runs it, uh, her name, and I'm going to apologize because I do not speak Icelandic well, but it's Ranhildur Augustdotter. And she created this website so that people could access information about uh, the volcano. And it's really, really helpful. There's uh, tens of thousands of users. People are posting every day on their experiences. They'll go out to the volcano so you can see exactly what other people have witnessed. People will post drone footage there that's amazing. People will post updates. Um, and there's lots and lots of resources. You can ask whatever questions you want. This video is designed to give you some introduction, but that resource is one of the best out there. So make sure that you uh, visit that. And I've popped up uh, both a link to that uh, in the description as well as uh, right here on the screen. Now, the other thing is there are some uh, other people who are doing an amazing job of documenting this volcano as it's happening. They make trips out to the volcano every week and some of them cases every day for several days at a time. And they'll live stream, they'll post uh, footage of them. The ones that I have really found helpful are uh, one named Guten Tag. I'll post that uh, link to uh, their channel as well. It's uh, two people that really have, have just put in a lot of time to make it so that we can see this. Another is Travelers, Traveler in the Whole World. And again, uh, I'll post a link to their channel. It's fantastic. Um, another one is Green Iceland Vid. Um, is one more and then Dr. Fox 2000. All of them have a little bit of a different feel. You can try out each of them, see what you like, but there's some amazing footage that they've put on there. And so really, I'm so grateful for uh, them for just putting up those amazing resources. And so those are the things that you can start doing uh, right now to make sure that you're getting familiar with this and you can build excitement up for this. If it looks like something where you want to make a trip and go to Iceland, well, then watch part too. I'll talk a little bit about how I planned our trips there and some of the things that we've seen. But you can start watching it, start seeing some amazing volcanic footage right away from wherever you are in the world with just the resources uh, that we've talked about thus far. And so uh, take advantage of those. Now, uh, I again, I put down in the links all of the, uh, the different things that I talked about as far as different live streams, uh, a link to the Facebook group, and then also to those other channels. Um, by way of kind of disclaimer, um, I don't have any sort of affiliate agreements with any of these. They are just things that I think are amazing. Amazing, um, and uh, have really been helpful and made a big difference in my trip uh, when we went out to see it earlier this year uh, both times and uh, what I'm, is really helping me to plan uh, the trip that I have coming up. So uh, hopefully you'll check those out and if you want uh, to find out more about what to do when you go to Iceland well watch part two and we'll talk a lot more about that there. So uh, if you'd like to see some of our videos, you can see those on the channel. Feel free to like, subscribe, um, and comment. I would love to hear uh, your feedback and other things that might be helpful. So uh, we'll see you on part two.